Michukaku's visions of the future are well documented in books, presentations and interviews at a global scale. What is different in this presentation is that it talks about the role of AI in preventing the next pandemic and the role of cloud computing in supporting the development of AI. The presentation was organized by IBM, which recently introduced IBM Cloud Satellite, a distributed cloud solution that makes it possible to launch cloud services and workloads fast and across multiple environments. And here are the highlights. During a pandemic, if you go to a sports game, AI sensors will detect odors from the virus on your body with an accuracy rivaling that of trained dogs, which can smell the coronavirus within 10 seconds with 95% accuracy. They are already being used at certain airports. In fact, 60% of all diseases ultimately come from animals like bats, so another pandemic is inevitable. AI can help conquer the next pandemic. AI can analyze cell phone data to tell us instantly who is violating lockdown rules. Thousands of thermometers are already connected to the internet, giving us instant knowledge of where the next coronavirus hotspot is. Contact tracing will help us detect super spreaders and big data analytics will detect outbreaks of the virus. Millions of sensors will be distributed throughout the world, especially in sewer systems, to detect the presence of the next outbreak weeks before the hospitals get flooded with dying patients. In other words, AI will help to save us from the next pandemic. So AI can process vast amounts of raw data and find correlations and hidden relations in totally unexpected areas. So in summary, AI will affect every aspect of our lives and the economy. But the AI revolution faces two important speed bumps. First, there is the problem that data, the fuel for AI, resides in different locations, on different platforms, public and private, with different protocols, regulations, and policies. There is a pressing need to reach this data from the public cloud, private sources, in-house networks. Precious time and resources are wasted by companies trying to negotiate this wilderness of different data platforms. Let's say that you are a multinational financial services corporation. You are painfully aware that data from key areas is scattered all over the place. Some of it resides in the public cloud, but most of it is private and confidential to be used in-house. Each time you transfer data from one platform to another, you pay a price and take skilled programmers away from other essential duties. Now, historians tell us that this is like the Middle Ages, when every time you changed your horse, you had to change to a different currency as well. And second, there is a problem of privacy. You don't want some hacker to steal the keys to the kingdom, costing you millions of dollars in lost or compromised data. And that is where distributed cloud computing comes in. It represents the next step in the evolution of cloud computing. And like evolution itself, history favors those able to adapt. That is, those companies which adopt distributed cloud computing. Those are the ones who will lead us into the future. So in conclusion, I believe the future of cloud architecture is here. It's distributed cloud made real with consistent cloud services. This is the fuel for the next wave of human advancement and prosperity.